uh, while we're on the subject of foreign policy, as you know, over the weekend, I'm sure you know, former President Donald Trump made news um, with his NATO comments. He said he would encourage Russia to, quote, do whatever the hell they want if NATO ma members didn't pay more. What do you make of these comments? Well, listen, the President Trump does a lot of comments, some of them agree not, so ultimately he's, you know, he's campaigning right now. I'm more care about President Biden doing, I'll hold him accountable, but I tell you one thing, President Trump, you know, he gets a lot of slack, but he was the first one who gave weapons to Ukraine, President, uh, you know, Obama gave blankets. He was the one who tried to push pressure on Germany to not be dependent on Russian gas that finances all of these wars. He actually unleashed American energy that would suppress prices that Russians cannot make so much money. And pretty much when he had meeting with Putin, he said, under my watch, and Putin didn't move because he understood that, you know, President Trump is serious. The same one happened in Syria. You know, he, you know, pretty much when they start using chemical weapons, he had a serious conversation and then, you know, they didn't move further. So there are a lot of things in the Middle East, you know, Abraham, of course. I mean, he was very tough with a lot of foreign leaders. You know, he does a lot of different things. What he says, you know, right now for campaigning. But if you look at his track record, he was actually his policy were well, very serious, you know, problem for countries like Russia and China, uh, North Korea and Iran. He was really doing actions. So I care not about words, but actions. You know, I, w I wish we would say less words, more actions. But right now, this administration is just words and actions been very weak and aggressors know and Putin is not the dumb. If you listen to his interview, you know, he might be an evil, but he's not stupid. He understands what's going on on the ground and he understands who puts actions, you know, and I think that's something that we need to be much better and smarter. So I wouldn't worry about what he's saying. It's all campaigning now, too. So I wouldn't worry about that at all. The NATO uh, Secretary General said that those comments, though, undermine all of our security, including that of the U.S. Do you agree or do you think they're simply just comments that people shouldn't take into account? He is the former president, though. Well, listen, you know, all comments and, you know, he has to explain what comments that was intent of this comment. So I really don't, you know, I don't even read it. So I don't want to really comment on something I haven't even read, you know, but I'll tell you one thing that NATO need to do better, you know, and NATO hasn't been really, you know, until recently upgrading the equipment, moving to the east front line. Now we're starting doing much more. So NATO needs to really think a little, a little bit more seriously because everyone is just waiting that Americans have to do everything, you know, but we're ultimately allies and partners and they have to do their part too. So we are not just going to, you know, only us have to really cover the bill and all of the actions what NATO is doing. So I think the rest of members of NATO is that very, you know, you know, good at what, you know, not just putting money where mouse is, but there are some members there have been wishy-washy. OK, and I think they cannot just always rely that American people have to step up. We have a lot of people dying for freedoms for them in, in Europe. You know, we've done a lot for Europe. And I think Americans will always stand with the freedom. Amer but Americans want to know that, you know, where are money going and we have a strategy and other allies also do their part. And I would say not every ally at NATO alliance is, is doing their part as much as they should. You know, and it's our responsibility to put pressure on them. We will stay with NATO. I don't think, you know, Russia will make moves against NATO. But, you know, if uh, we are not strong enough, Russia can find a ways how they can start terrorize countries, you know, Baltics or Poland. And if you know, Putin said he's not going to attack NATO unless NATO attack him. Well, he said Ukraine attack him on the eastern Ukraine, which is a complete lie. No one ever attacked him. So he can do different sabotages. He can do things that, you know, don't underestimate hybrid warfare that Russia has been doing for many, many years and how infiltrated they are in Europe. So we have to be smarter and NATO, instead of worrying what President Trump says, they should worry how they're going to now to deter Russia moving further and get the act together. And that's something that I hope, you know, when we have, you know, meetings in Munich and Vienna, we'll actually, my colleagues will support me to put more pressure on Europeans to do better.